Y'all, we're making ice cream in a jar and it's low carb. Come on. Welcome to Highfalutin Low Carb, the almost weekly web series where we find and test the best low carb recipes this crazy internet has to offer. Today, we're tackling the Pinterest sensation, the TikTok sensation. Of course, I'm a day late and a dollar short behind it, but it's the famous mason jar ice cream with just a few ingredients and no need to haul out the giant ice cream churn. You're supposed to be able to get a soft, wonderful, creamy ice cream that you can eat right out of the jar. Now, this is not a um, uh, I think it's more of a technique than a recipe. I am going to use the recipe by Kendra over at Peace, Love, and Low Carb. I will leave a link down here on the screen so you can check that out. She seems to be one of the first that I see mentioning it at around 2012. Um, so if you do know where, I like to always give originators the, uh, of the recipes um, their, their props. So if you know that this obviously may have been a technique used for decades, who knows. But so for now, we're going to use Peace, Love, and Low Carb. All right, guys, before we begin, I wanted to cut in real quick and give a huge thank you to the sponsor of this video, MyFitnessPal. MyFitnessPal is a comprehensive nutritional and fitness tracker, but it is also so much more than that. And I should let you know that I have been using this for well over a decade, long before we knew what um, uh, smartphones and smartphone apps were. I was using MyFitnessPal on a computer on a website uh, years ago and have continued to use it. And um, I recently sort of rededicated my efforts to tracking what I'm eating and how I'm eating and when I'm eating. And as you can probably see, if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, um, I've, I'm down about 25 pounds in the last couple of months just from honing in on what I'm eating. Now, a lot of people think uh, MyFitnessPal is just a calorie counter and a calorie tracker. And while it does that, it's certainly so much more than that. It is a, a comprehensive tool that allows you to track what you eat, when you eat, how you're eating, the exercise you're getting, the water intake, and then it gives you a customizable dashboard to be able to, uh, to, to place all this information in a way that makes sense to you. So a lot of apps have trouble with things like net carbs or carb counts or the minutia sometimes that people eating keto or low carb uh, like to focus on and need to focus on and this allows you to customize your dashboard to the information that you and I find most uh, beneficial rather than what an app developer wants us to see. Um, the, uh, there's a huge community also in addition to just tracking all this information there's a huge community of users millions of people who are focused on uh, their fitness and health and you can look into those communities whether that's low carb or keto or diabetes or any sort of health and get information and, and help when you're struggling or help others when they're struggling. It's a, a, really a community benefit. Um, what I really love about it is the recipe tracking. It allows me to, when we do testing here in, in the test kitchen, to input those recipes and double check uh, the macronutrients of those recipes from recipe developers to make sure that they're properly um, accounted for. Um, but also, many of us, when we get into the groove of, of, of eating healthfully and fitness, we tend to sort of stick to the same meals generally, you know, our favorites. And this allows you to create recipes, divide them into portions, and make sure the macronutrients are correct. And then when you're going to eat, you just pop, 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 uh, and enter a couple of servings in of recipes that, that have become your staples. Now, it has a database of over 14 million foods. So whatever you're eating is most likely already on there. And it's as easy as entering a barcode, scanning it with your phone, taking a photo or just searching for a name brand or a product or a food and entering that in. So it's really like a nutritional tracker, a dietitian, a nutritionist, a coach, and an exercise specialist all in your pocket along with millions of people who are ready to help at any given time. So right now, guys, Fitness Pal is, uh, my Fitness Pal is offering a great deal to you. You get access to the website and their apps um, by using the link in the video description below. It's also going to be in the pinned comment below. Click that link and you'll get one month free premium membership to try out my, my Fitness Pal and see if it works as well for you as it does for me and millions of others. So again, click the link down below in the video description below for a month free trial of my fitness pal uh, no questions asked and you can cancel at any time um, so thank you so much my fitness pal for helping me reach my goals and for also sponsoring channels like mine sponsorships like yours keep channels like mine on the air and for that i am 
truly appreciative. So guys, if you want to support me, go support them and check out my fitness pal. All right, let's go make some ice cream. Come on. All right, guys, so we are going to start our first recipe is um, there. It's, it's the same recipe um, and it's basically just uh, cream, a sweetener and cocoa powder and some vanilla extract. And you're going to shake that in a jar. This is going to be a super fast video because this is like ice cream in five minutes, but it does have to freeze for three to five hours. <laughs> That's the hard part. But so we're going to make these. But what I wanted to test was the sweetener. So one of these is going to be an erythritol based sweetener and one of these is going to be allulose based. I'm just swapping the sweetener out because allulose apparently is well, it's a low carb sweetener but it apparently makes things a little creamier um, than erythritol can and also you know erythritol some people find that cooling effect to be a little off-putting so we're gonna make two of the exact same chocolate right with cocoa powder and I'm gonna swap out the sweeteners and then we're trying one live on air right here that I have never done before and it's gonna be blueberry my favorite ice cream <laughs> is a store Kroger brand, used to be, um, when I ate a lot of sugar, um, store Kroger brand of um, wild Maine blueberry and Belgian waffle, and it is so to die for. So we're gonna forego the Belgian waffle part of that, but I've got some wild strawberry uh, blueberries in here that you see, they're just frozen. Uh, if you have fresh, go ahead and use them, but these are just frozen, and I squoze a little bit of lemon juice in them. So I'm gonna cook this down, and I'm gonna speed this up so you don't have to watch it, but I needed this to cool down, and then we're gonna start on our other recipes. So I'll see you back here in just a sec. All right, guys, so we're back. So I'm just gonna let this sit over here for a while. Let's get started on our first recipe. Again, peace, love, and low carb. This is Kendra. Um, it'll be in the link down here if you wanna find out exact measurements. So what we're doing is obviously, I'm gonna go ahead and give measurements for this because it seems that all of these recipes are basically the same. Heavy cream, one cup of heavy cream. You want a large jar. This is probably a quart, I think. It's one of the drinking jars, but it does have a lid. Um, it normally would make a, put it in a pint. To this, we are going to add, and this is our erythritol-based monk fruit sweetener, right? So monk fruit, uh, it, it, if you buy granulated or powdered monk fruit, it generally is mixed with uh, erythritol. So that's what that is, and a tablespoon of um, cocoa powder. So let's just put that in without trying to cause too much of a dust up. And this is how easy it is. A little bit of vanilla extract, that's a teaspoon uh, pure vanilla extract. And we're gonna put the lid on this booger and we're gonna shake this up, but I'm gonna do it in a minute because I'm gonna have to shake both of them at the same time. This is our, <laughs> this is our uh, second one. It's the same exact recipe, cup of cream. This time I wanna try the allulose based sweetener. So we've got two tablespoons of allulose based sweetener and this is again, one tablespoon of cocoa powder. Her recipe also called for optional uh, sugar-free chocolate chips, but I don't like frozen chocolate chips. It hurts my teeth. So I'm just going to admit those. <laughs> so um, we may want to bump up the sweetener based on how this eventually comes out since we're not including it. But this is the vanilla. In it goes. And while this cools, I'm going to shake these for five minutes each. And I'm going to speed this up and you can watch me dance, I guess. <laughs> So this has got to go for five minutes. Whew. All right, arm workout for the day. See you in a bit. <laughs> Shoo. Okay, that was quite the workout. This should double in size. It's been about four minutes I've been shaking. Uh, putting these in the freezer, gonna clean up and we're gonna work on our second little, uh, the third recipe that we're gonna make up on the spot and see how it turns out. So I'll be right back. Okay, so after our workout for five minutes, we're gonna try this third recipe. This is just the one I'm sort of making up to see if it a fruit based would work and I'm sure it will. And you could, I'm sure just slice up fresh strawberries or fresh berries, but I like smooth creamy ice creams and don't like any of the pulpy stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a little tiny seal. Look at there, peepa, tiny little thing. And I'm just gonna take my pan here. So I'm just gonna mash this through a sieve and instead of wasting another I was gonna do it in a cup. So I'm just gonna push this through the sieve. We wanna leave the pulp behind and leave some beautiful syrup for me. 
at the end. And so I'm gonna speed up through this while we do this. Okay, it's mostly out of there. I probably could have gotten a little more out of there. Um, but again, I just, you, you can certainly use that, I'm sure. I don't prefer that flavor, uh, texture of um, skins in my ice cream, but um, certainly the anth anthocyanins and all the fiber and all that stuff is great too for you. So this is the allulose sweetener. I'm gonna use that again because it's supposed to, supposed to be the creamiest. And now, whew, another five minutes of shaking um, this together. And I'm omitting the um, vanilla from this one because I have a little bit of the uh, lemon juice to add some acidity. So, and look how beautiful and purple. Oh my gosh. Look how pretty that is. So, I will spare you the dance this time. <laughs> so when I see you now, I'm going to shake for five minutes. Alexa, set the timer for five minutes. Okay, so I will see you back here in five minutes but it'll actually be about five hours because this is going to go into the fridge with the other two and I'll see you here between three to five hours and through the magic of television, I will be back here in five, four, three, two, two, one. <gasps> All right, guys, we are back and it's actually the next morning, early the next morning, so we're going to have ice cream for breakfast, I guess you can say. It was a little too late to film last night. But so as you see here, I've got our three jars lined up. They have been out of the fridge for about uh, 10 minutes. You want to give them a little bit of uh, time to come to, to soften up a little bit, I think. I've already opened them up just to check them out. Uh, this is, I marked the um, allulose bottle. This is the erythritol. Um, you can't really see in there really well. It's filled up to about here. Um, which, like I said, it, it, <clears throat> this was, jar was a little too, lo too large, uh, but it just goes to show you can do it in any jar. Oh, that one looks really good. This is the erythritol, I mean the allulose uh, based. And then this is the one that we sort of, oh gosh, I got it on my hands, hold on. This is the one we sort of made up on the fly just to see if we could make a fruit based one that wasn't just fruit. And it oddly, well, it didn't, it's not as fluffy, so I could have just sh uh, shaken it less. Um, <clears throat> I also, after about an hour, I went back and reshook them a little bit, turned them upside down, uh, and then in, in a couple hours later, I shook them again, but they were already solid by about two or two to three hours in. So let's uh, see what this is about. I'm just gonna serve some of these up because like I said, I'm curious about uh, not only the flavor of the sweetener, but the texture. So this shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, it's kind of, oh, it's hard in there. Yeah, this is the erythritol based. Wow, okay. Um, it had been sitting out, so what was on top was a little salt. I'm just gonna serve myself just a little bit of each of them. And I'm gonna rinse the spoon out so I don't get any, I mean my scoop out so I don't get any cross contamination here. All right, <clears throat> this is the allulose based one. It seemed to have risen the most and I shook these both identically actually. It is a little bit softer kind of is softer um hmm. still hard to scoop even after 15 minutes out <clears throat> okay i'm gonna rinse this out i'll be right back okay and then let's scoop our blueberry wild main blueberry it is firm as well but softer than that erythritol one for sure it is softer Okay, more importantly, what does this taste like? Hold on, let me wash my hands because I've made a mess. Okay, so let's taste our ice creams. So this is the first one. Again, this is the um, just the basic uh, version with erythritol and it's pretty creamy. That that was on the top is, I don't know if you, it's, it looks pretty good. Mmm. Mmm. That is good. Um, I definitely t get the coolness of the erythritol. I do. You still feel that. Um, I used the confectioners, the powdered erythritol. So I wonder how, because the recipe called for granular, and I just, I don't see how the granulated would, would combine itself well enough. I still feel like you could just taste the crystals, but maybe not. Um, this is the allulose version, so let's try it. 
a little firmer, oddly. Whoa, that is good. That is good. Y'all, if you told me that was low carb and had no sugar in it, I would not believe you. I would call you a liar. That is great. That is better than any commercial low carb or keto ice cream I have personally had. That throws Halo Top out of the water. I'd hate to, <clears throat> I hate to mention brand names specifically when I'm, I mean, I would have norm, I'd normally like Halo Top, but th that just tastes like real ice cream. It really does. Now here's our concoction, our beautiful little blueberry one, and this is made with allulose. So, and it is, that's pretty. <laughs> I mean, it does look pretty. Um, I'm not expecting it to match the, the one I love so much, but looks pretty good. Mm-hmm. Oh gosh, hold on. Y'all, these were fantastic. These were fantastic. All of these, even the erythritol did not have, because it's cold, you, uh, it, that sort of tempers some of that cooling effect that you get of the erythritol. I will say the allulose made for the creamiest, uh, the creamiest ice cream. It is a little more authentic in its scoopability and the mouthfeel than the erythritol. So if you, if you use allulose and you tolerate it well, I would use the allulose, but wow. Okay, mason jar ice cream, 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10. All of these were good. Whew. Now I have three pints of ice cream. So <laughs> there you have it folks, low carb uh, mason jar ice cream. Can it be done? You better believe it. Thank you guys for joining me. I say it every time. Um, these uh, videos are a way for me to maintain my low carb way of eating. And looking at the end of this camera as often as I can helps keep me honest. So I appreciate that you guys have come along for the journey. If you haven't um, done so, please subscribe down below and hit the like button. That lets people know uh, that this video is quality content and they can recommend it to other people that are interested in low carb and keep of food so that helps me more than you would ever know also uh, be sure to find me over on Facebook and Instagram um, I have just uh, highfalutin low carb over there I talk a little more frequently a little more freely also I need to thank my patreon members uh, my true rock stars you're gonna see their names start to scroll over here on the side if you don't know what patreon is think of it as the tip jar for the internet that lets people like you who enjoy what people like me do here on YouTube and you can give us a dollar or two a month just to sort of keep the train on the track as it were. So thank you so much for those guys. Without them, none of this would be possible. So I will see you very soon for another low carb video. All right. Bye-bye.